They made no plan. They believed in their propaganda. They believed, because Saddam Hussein was a very cruel ruler and not popular with the people of Iraq. So they thought the people would welcome them and then they could just, you know, carry on with their lives and there wouldn't be any trouble. It was an utterly irresponsible lack of planning. For the British troops, we told them from the Department of International Development just before the date, you'll be an occupying power. You'll have a responsibility to make sure people are fed and looked after. And they started ordering food at the last minute. There was no plan preparation and no it wasn't raised around the cabinet table. The issue was whether we should be in it or not with the Americans, but everyone knew the Americans were leading. I remember the Iraq war as a terrible mistake and that the government, Tony Blair really individually, um, only got people support by being untruthful about why he was doing it and whether there was WMD and what, the, what had happened at the UN. There was even dishonesty about that pretending that they had UN authority when they didn't. So lies, breaches of international law, terrible destruction brought shame on the government, diminished its reputation. The only thing to do now is learn lessons and try and bring peace and development to the people of Iraq who've suffered terribly. <laughs>